welcome everyone to the Lincolnville Selectman meeting. It is the 9th of August. Mike, would you care to read the quote? I sure will, sure. Uh, to win it all, winners to win it all, winners have to be obsessive about the fundamentals and doing the little things right. Dan Meyer said that. Thank you very much. Mm -hmm. And I'd like to open the podium for any non-agenda related items for the Citizens Forum. Seeing no one rushing up to the podium, let's continue along to the administrator's report. I don't have a thing. Wow. There you go. If anything pops into your eye, just jump in. <laughs> um, and uh, before we convene here, um, we are short a selectman who is hopefully having a great honeymoon. Um, so he is excused. Uh, let's move along to upcoming meetings and announcements. All meetings are here in the town office unless announced otherwise. The budget committee is meeting tomorrow, Tuesday, August 10th, 6 p.m. The planning board meeting that's listed on the agenda has apparently been canceled in my absence. Uh, school committee is scheduled to meet Monday, August 16th, 6 p.m. Uh, to be determined because I don't know where or how they're meeting right now. Broadband Committee meets Thursday, August 19th, 5 p.m. at the town office. Special town meeting hopefully will be scheduled for Monday, August 23rd, 6 p.m. And the Board of Selectmen to meet next in regular session on Monday, August 23rd, immediately following the special town meeting. Great. Thank you very much. And are there any upcoming community events anyone wishes to share? Yes. Uh, this Saturday at 3 p.m. at the Fletcher Cemetery, there'll be a committal service for uh, former Selectman Barrows, mm. and that will be followed up by a reception at the Center Community Building immediately following. Thank you. You're welcome. Any other events anyone wishes to share? You have the wing days. Blueberry wing days. Oh, thank you. Yes. Uh, we had an audience member remind us that there's the blueberry winging coming up. Uh, let's move along to the meeting minutes from the 26th. I move that the board approve the July 26, 2021 meeting minutes as presented. Second. Moved and seconded. Any discussion? Seeing nothing, all those in favor? Thank you very much. I'm abstaining because I wasn't here. Okay. One abstention. And we have a community member that has expressed some interest in being on the Recreation Commission. Um, and we have uh, their community interest form here in your packet. And we have said, said individual here. Uh, does anyone wish to say hi, ask any questions? Yes, definitely. Would you please come up to the podium, introduce yourself for folks watching at home? And, and folks here. Good evening. Uh, Douglas Grant, and I've uh, filled out the community interest form for the, I think it's the Parks and Recreation um, Committee. And uh, I've been uh, a resident of Lincolnville since 2013. And we live over off of Route 1 in Duck Trap area. So yes. <laughs> Thank you for your interest. It's, it's good to meet you. Is this where we ask, do we call you the flying Hawaiian? Oh, Ooh, what do we? Oh. Oh. I saw that on a plate of, okay. and my wife may have mentioned you. Yes, she so, so she my official time, I'm an airline captain. So Captain yeah. Douglas Grant, I fly at 3.30, uh, work for Hawaiian Airlines. Oh. oh. And, Perfect. And we also have to thank him for being the individual who has been caring for our uh, grass. That was next on my question, <laughs> on my yes, comments, but I figured that one uh, trumped that. But. So thank you for yes. that. Yes, absolutely. And thank, thank you, you for your interest. Yes. Um, because that, 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 that's a lot of mowing, I'm sure. Yeah, Thanks. it's, it's, I, I, it, it's, you know, I, I fortunately live across the street, so I just drive the tractor over there and, uh, and uh, mow. I don't do it all at one time. Thanks. Excellent. Any other questions? No. All right. Thank okay. you so much for coming in this evening. Oh, no worries. Thank yeah. you. Being able to put a face to a name. Uh, would anyone care to make a motion? I move to appoint Douglas Grant to the Recreation Commission as a regular member with the term expiring June 2024. Second. Moved and seconded. Any discussion? 
Seeing none, all those in favor? Thank you very much. And again, thank you for yeah. volunteering. Do you know, not to interrupt and jump your meeting, do you know Cheryl? No. Cheryl's also on the Recreation Commission. <laughs> <laughs> Because you guys now have a quorum. Right? Yeah. Yay. Last yeah. Yeah. That's great. That is awesome. <laughs> yeah. And there's lots of work to do. So. Yeah. <laughs> and moving along, um, at our last meeting, the board um, decided to table this until Selectman Ray could return. Um, and so I think I'll turn it oh, over sure. to you. Yeah. Okay. Well, uh, first, I wanted to apologize for getting the draft of the RFP to you so late in the day or early in the morning, whichever it was. And, um, but it's the same draft, mm -hmm. and what the broadband committee is asking is just the go ahead from the Board of Selectmen to continue working on that with the town staff time. And so it's ready to bring back to the board for a final um, okay and or edit. Um, but I'd also like to kind of bundle that request with a, a related request, and that is to, for the Broadband Committee to pursue, pursue pursuant to final board approval, uh, grant application with the Island Institute or other people. Uh, we've identified a couple possible funding sources. And we'd like to get started on that. And um, in order to pay for <laughs> any RFP, uh, any, any feasibility study that goes down the pike. And um, that's basically it. We just uh, don't want to take any town staff time without, you know, okay the board. Now this is a, if, you've re if you're reading the document, mm -hmm. uh, what we did is took a, an earlier RFP that's gone out from the town. Sure. Okay, and uh, got rid of the dates, put in uh, uh, some ideas for the scope of work and, and the general plan principles. I mean, uh, they're, they're rough, and to the, I'm not, I don't know what, to what extent they meet, let's say, town standards. Mm -hmm. You know, I, mm -hmm. I, I'm not sure of that. Um, and we're obviously, you know, would welcome any board, of, you know, input on any of those items or additional items. And well, I, is that uh, like an input finger? Yeah, yeah, yeah. There was just one thing um, that I was would like for the RFP to include. And what's that? The technical information on the current infrastructure, specifically the type of fiber. I, cable asked, that I actually have that okay. written in number seven, yes. Oh, um, I, I made it number seven too. Oh, there you go. So, <laughs> okay, well here's what I, I, I mean, I, I would just real top of the head said, uh, we, we'd like um, to have them do a tech, full technical, whatever feasibility, uh, do a full technical in inventory of the, of, of the infrastructure that we have, but also to relate that infrastructure to um, the underserved, the designation of underserved as is used by f various funding sources, like a, a clear correlation. So, oh, I'm sorry. Uh, no, I just want to thoroughly understand. So you're, you, once what is identified, what we have, how it relates to the population of quote unquote underserved and what that means. Correct. Okay. Because from what we from what we understand, various funding sources, possible funding sources, use kind of a, a tiered system where the unserved get priority, the underserved perhaps are number two in line, and uh, we need to find out where we stand, mm -hmm. and that and they base that uh, metric base uh, they base that on the technical, ava what's available to the people technically. And so we need to find out. And we, I, we'd like a clear correlation between the two, if they can identify that. So as a subtext of that question, um, uh, a estimate on take rates, is that, is that the idea, is to, to look at the feasibility of 
um, the folks who have opted, not opted in. I, I'm not, or, you know, Layla, I'm not, I'm, <laughs> I'm not exactly sure how okay. they would figure in take rates to that. Yeah. I don't know. I, I mean, it's obviously, we're, we're asking them to, you know, give the projected take rates necessary, take, sufficient take rates for, you know, a, yeah. a return. Yeah. But well, uh, how they do it underserved, I don't know. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Yeah. Well, and also this is, while it's presented as a, a whole, this is, it is, it, it's an incremental type of stuff. So we'll be gathering first the technical data and from that when we understand what it is that's here and what that can actually serve, from that then comes a financial estimate that'll be based on whatever the variables are that would go into extending the current infrastructure, replacing the infrastructure with the goal of the 100 symmetrical to every home in mind that was set for the broadband committee, if that makes sense. So then when you get to the economical side of that, then you can get into take rates and the feasibility studies that go along with it. But first, it's really important to know what's here technically and if that uh, equipment can even fulfill what we've all decided as being the minimum. I hope that that made some sense. Yeah, sure. And again, it's not, it is incremental. It's got to be multiple steps because it's not something that can be done all in one study. Again, as one part will affect the next one that will affect the next one. Mm-hmm. Okay. So I, d I do not know what's necessary, what kind of, if we need a general nodding of heads from the board that it's okay to use staff time to fine tune this document and then bring it back to this board so before it goes out. Or there's a motion that's necessary, or I don't know. I think it, it, it's, it seems, as you said, you want, intend to put some more work into yeah, it. The yeah, committee yeah. is going to put yeah. some more work into yeah, it. Yeah, yeah. And David, if I could just Correct me if I'm wrong, you probably would want to have Sally put eyes on this before we got serious about sending this out. Uh, we certainly could if we thought there was something um, wrinkly about it, for lack of a better word, that's a terrible adjective to use. Um, definitely before signing a contract, we'll want to have eyes to it, and maybe if we invest a little bit in the eyes early on mm -hmm. it makes it cheaper down the road before we sign a contract so everybody knows what's what's coming um, but we issue RFPs periodically without too much in-depth review if I I would be an advocate for front loading a little more of the work. I mean, it's just the long term unforeseen consequences of starting this ball rolling. Um, I want to make sure that we're crossing all our T's and dotting all of our I's, particularly if we're going to be seeking grant monies sure. or um, utilizing any of the. Um, ARP funds or anything like that, that we're really getting our ducks in a row, so to speak. Um, so I don't think anything more than a general consensus to move ahead with this would be necessary at this point, um, particularly if you're going to add or change the scope of work that was submitted to the board. Yeah, and uh, as I said, I you know I invite any input from uh, this board too. Uh, so what we will do is set up a time to work with David or another staff member, and to get the language suitable for going out and then bring it back. Well, and if I could just I'm, I have this written down so that it's concise, but I think and th what we're really looking for. Is asking the Board of Selectmen to allow the town administrator to prepare the RFP with the advice from the LBBCs. And so where we're just starting the ball rolling, then mm -hmm. we will review the RFP again, right. then it'll be sent, then there'll be four to six weeks for the consultants to reply, and then the fees, you know, so it's, 
it's just a, it's a, right now what we're really looking to do, and forgive me, I'm not speaking for anyone, is to seek David's help in drafting the formal RFP for our review then to be finally set in, so. Yep. Yes. If that makes sense? That's okay. what I, yeah, that's what that's I'm, what yeah, that's what I'm <laughs> suggesting, yeah. yeah. It does make sense. I, I'm a little, I'm trying to relate how this scope of work I mean, obviously does in the big picture, but I'm just thinking in immediate terms, spelling out, you know, that, you know, we've got this very big goal mm -hmm. of the, you know, affordable broadband of 100 um, to all residents, all of, the, all of that stuff. So that's a really big long-term goal. But then the scope of work is the very necessary and immediate questions that need to be answered. And so I'm just, I want to make sure that the consultants are really clear on what we're asking them, given that the long-term goal is this, but the immediate goal is what? Because these, these questions don't immediately answer or speak to that goal. It's like, do, do you know what I mean? It's the, it's the first step, but mm -hmm. we're crawling, not running yet. And so I just want to make sure that we're not asking the consultants to give us an answer to the running question when really what we want to know is the mechanics of how to crawl. Sure. Well, this is the most, I mean, to make an analogy, it's like turning the lights on. That's all we're doing. We're not right. even crawling or walking. We're just trying to see the room that we're in at the moment. Right. And, so, and, and all these concerns, we'll be able to, again, this is just to get started. So we're not even, I mean, it's, we're not responsible. These, these, what, this isn't going to go to anyone. This is just to let David start on an administrative level working on it, which it will come back to us, and we will be able to address those. And even at that point, if you wanted to call in, a consultant for you know from a company like we've done in the broadband committee or people from the broadband committee to, to further discuss we can so it's not like this is we're not doing anything that's going out to no no i get that yeah. but i just i rfps need to be very very specific and so i think we need to make sure to articulate somewhere in this rfp mm -hmm. explicitly what the um, you know, in, in the broad, you know, the sort of background, you know, background information and then um, desired outcome. So the scope of the work is great. Like that's all the mechanics of what we would expect this firm or individual to do. Um, but, you know, ar articulating a thesis statement, basically. This is what the town's goal for okay. this RFP is. But. Okay. So that we can refer back to that. I mean, oh, it's I not. That's it's what all this was, though, because it says identify existing high speed. All these things are the goal of the RFP. Those are the mechanics towards the end of reaching the goal. But I, I just want to make sure that we're not making any assumptions. I guess you've got to be way more specific. It's very generalized what you're talking about. So I don't. You've got to refer to something more specific. To but that's what I'm about. saying. Like the there needs to be a statement of purpose for this. Like, yes, the scope of the work. Like, these are the boxes that you tick off in order. Well, that, but what I'm saying is in order to get to that doesn't mean that we need to stop the process here. This is the beginning, so. I'm not, I'm not suggesting that. I'm saying that in order to hire a consultant, they need to know what they're being okay. hired for under, uh, just under a thesis statement other than beyond the mechanical aspects that they'll be working through. So that's a suggestion on what we should be adding to this when David starts yeah. working on this. Yes. Okay, okay. A statement of purpose. That, yes. Yeah, that's totally fine. I thought you were suggesting that we need to pull that's back right. and re-examine mm -hmm. and rework it before we move forward in any step, which I didn't understand. So. As a matter of fact, lately it's got an asterisk by it. There, it's Whoa. <laughs> so it'll, well, it'll, it'll, it'll get in there, yeah. But, you know, I just, having wrongly assumed that it was blatantly obvious what we were asking yeah. for, mm -hmm. and then we went through several meetings with various entities where it's like, no, I mean, they just, 
in the past, it hasn't necessarily been as clear. And so it, again, going back to the front loading the work now, yeah. you know, the clearer of intent we can make this document, mm -hmm. I think the better product we'll get in the shorter the period of time rather than us being like, no, 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 that's not what we meant. Or some variation therein. Does that make sense? Mm -hmm. I definitely think a fine-tuned exact version of the RFP should be formulated before we submit it. Super. For sure. Super. Yes. Yeah, and I totally trust the broadband committee in working with David to well, nail, not, to not, nail that. Now that gets two asterisks. <laughs> <laughs> Keep layering it up. Um, okay, David, are, do you have any questions um, in, in terms of No, I don't direction? think so. I just want to make sure that everybody knows that my uh, knowledge of the internet workings is limited, and I'll lean heavily on the committee for that. Gotcha. My knowledge of RFP is pretty good, but my knowledge of yeah. internet hardware. Mm. Okay, great. I like Sketchy. it. I like, I like the... So, so uh, we will go ahead and schedule time with David. The Thank Island you. Institute and may have also, like, I mean, maybe I'm just making this up, but I feel like they may have, um, like, boilerplate they have requests some, that we could also, you know, uh, work with to compare and just, just as a further... Uh, that, yeah. that, uh, or, uh, this or is an idea. Resources, other, maybe yeah. there's other submissions that they have that they might yeah. be willing to just share. Just and no, uh, Matt, uh, no, we got we got a lot of uh, sample RFPs from Island Institute. Oh, great. Uh, we just happened to uh, uh, paste into uh, Lincolnville one <laughs> yeah. because it's Lincolnville. Yeah. And uh, but yeah, no, yeah, we we've got a bunch from them from various towns, and they're very they vary widely. As a matter of fact, it's interesting reading. Mm. Mm. Uh, some of them are prosaic. Some of them are less. You know, are just mm -hmm. cut and dry mm -hmm. type. Of well, and boy, as, as we heard at our last meeting, it, keeping it Lincolnville-centric yeah. seems more, more important than ever. Yeah. Um, all right, yeah. Mike, anything else on that right now? Uh, no, uh, there's, no, nothing about the RFP and okay. uh, um, the grant request. No, no, there's uh, other updates, but yeah. that's we'll all. We'll get to it later. I just had my finger in that, looking at it. Yeah, yeah, we'll, so we'll get to it. You yeah. will. Uh, so any other questions for Mike or comments on that right now? Super. All right, moving along. We have an application uh, from a qualified catering organization for an event on the 14th um, at uh, Stone Coast Road, which is also known as The Edge. Um, any questions on this application? And if there's no immediate questions for the board or for David, if anyone wishes to make a motion. Yeah, uh, I move that the board approve and sign the qualified catering organization application for catered function as submitted by 111 Main Catering for an event occurring at 24 Stone Coast Road on August 14th, 2021, between the hours of 3.30 p.m. and 10 p.m. So moved. Second. Seconded. Any discussion? The no representative here for that, David. No. Have we have have, I, have we worked with uh, no one eleven main catering now? I'd say as part of the discussion, it would be nice if just in general, and not that the you or anyone has control over, but it just. We Same invite out there. Yeah. People would be we nice invite any come. and all applicants to attend the meeting. Yeah, I think the um, the especially as a general day. rule, the catering uh, world doesn't themselves. No offense, see the need because nobody else requires it. So, mm -hmm. but we're not anybody else. So, no, we are special. <laughs> we are well, and I would also think just as someone who worked in that industry for a long time, um, you know, submitting it f five days before an event is a bit risky in the matter that maybe something doesn't go your way. So I just would suggest. Agreed. And yeah. that's not meant in a spiteful or threatening no. way. It just, it's, I think for your own business health, it's probably a good thing to come in if you can. Probably, yeah. probably when we 
uh, invite them to attend, we should just say it is suggested that you attend. Well, and that yeah. approval is not a foregone conclusion. Yeah, yeah absolutely. I, I would like to. I would like to make several assumptions, and I think we ha really have no choice here, given that someone's going to get married. Right. Yeah. Um, but that it is at a facility that we know is capable yeah. of handling such an event. So, especially 180 people in Waldo County right now. Just you know. I mean, hopefully we can we can hang our hats on that. I do appreciate the very clear diagram. You know, it's it is a reasonably professionally you know put yep. together application. Yeah. Um, I but, agree. But the comments are appreciated and agreed. Yeah. Uh, so is there any further discussion? Seeing nothing, all those in favor? Thank you very much. And moving along, uh, at our last meeting, we had a discussion uh, regarding the positive uh, outcomes regarding the state budgets um, and the board's decision um, to use it to reduce the property tax commitment and the special town meeting warrant that is before you. And so I will entertain. Oh, just yes. one tidbit of information. I did, uh, I think I mentioned it in the newsletter that it had been sent for a review by council, yes. which is what we do with all our town meeting warrants. And I got an email back saying it was fine. Okay. Great. Good. So that being said, I will entertain a motion. I move that the board approve and sign the special town meeting warrant for a town meeting to be held at 6 p.m. on Monday, August 23rd, 2021 at the Lincolnville Town Office. Second. Moved and seconded. Any discussion? Seeing none, all those in favor? Thank you very much. And moving along, um, as everyone may be aware, we have an ever-evolving um, environment that this COVID situation is presenting us. And so uh, David and I had a conversation and obviously we are all wearing masks in the CDC and uh, the state of Maine, the governor has updated their recommendations. Uh, and so before you, you see a draft regarding um, revising our uh, policies and procedures for interacting with the public and the like and you'll notice that it gives a little bit more latitude in terms of needing to update um, the regulations so that if something changes rapidly that it doesn't necessarily mean a uh, last minute convenience Convene, convening of the select board in order to change it again. Yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, that way we can be a little bit more dynamic in our response. Um, does anyone have any questions about this? Uh, if not, I will entertain a motion. I move the board approve the August 9, 2021 update to the phased reopening of Lincolnville Town Office Plan. Second. Moved and seconded. Any discussion? Seeing none, all those in favor? Thank you very much. And David, I'd like to, oh, do, 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 do. first, before I put you on, I'm going to have a little bit of, let's have the broadband update. Mike, you indicated oh, that at, you had at the some additional. Sure, at the local level, or a couple, just to keep you guys informed, of the, um, the broadband committee, we are meeting with the Northport Broadband Committee tomorrow at 5 p.m just to, for a very informal, hey, where are you guys at, where are you guys at, type of conversation. And um, I'll be there at five, and maybe some other members as well. I, I don't know uh, if it's, um, I'd say tune in from the least your, your couch, but I don't know if it's broadcast or anything like that. And uh, secondly, were you guys informed? No, you were, I'm sorry, never mind. Uh, I watched the meeting last time. Um, that the Southwest Waldo group uh, stated that they chose not to work with Lincolnville at this present time. Yeah. Okay, yeah. yeah. Okay, I was at a meeting where they told me that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. okay. 
And oh. Jordan, did you? And I one? actually don't have one. I feel terrible saying I wasn't in Iceland, but neither Josh <laughs> nor I were able to attend the the last meeting, um, which is the first time. And um, Stephen Coltai was there, but I I don't have an update okay. at the moment. And like you said, we'll we'll be circling inward on ourselves more and more as this comes in. So that, sure. So yeah. okay, great. Um, and just in, just for clarification, um, we have a little bit of a off step between our notes and the the agenda. So if it's okay, we'll do the Waldo County Commissioner update as number thirteen. Um, so I'd like to roll right into selectmen updates and then we'll talk about news from Waldo County. That sounds good. Sound good? Mm -hmm. Okay. Karen, do you have an update for us? I, I don't have anything to say. I know that <laughs> doesn't sound right. <laughs> no, uh, we, have a, we have some committee meetings coming up for the Pinko Solid Waste Corporation. Yeah. Uh, but no. Okay. No, I have nothing. Okay, great. No, nothing. I don't, no. Okay, I don't have anything, Jordan? No. All right, that was quick. Speech. Well, moving right along, um, David, I would like to throw the conversation uh, from our county commissioners first to you for an introduction and then the board discussion. Yeah, well, um, included in your packet is an email that was sent to all the town offices in Waldo County from the commissioners, and I should say, and to City Hall reference to Belfast, mm -hmm. um, saying that they had determined to allot, as it says, allot $20,000 to each community um, for seed money, um, potentially for broadband expansion within the county. Uh, since that email, and they, since that email came out, um, they issued another more explanatory note saying that they were going to not require communities to come to them to ask for the money. They were going to just send you it. And then today received another letter from the county commissioner saying um, that it was their hope that the money would be used for broadband, but it was not their requirement that it be used for broadband expansion. Um, apparently, some communities may have objected to being limited in what they could utilize that for. Um, so uh, they said we didn't have to do anything. They would be mailing us a check for $20,000 before the end of the month or by the end of the month. I do have some concerns not so much for Lincolnville as I do for the county um, this is all um, monies that they've received from the American Rescue Recovery Program back whatever it is and with any money that comes from Washington comes usually strings and justification where everything I've read thus far has been when we send the town their allocation, you'll need to be able to explain to us at some point how you spent that money and how it met with our requirements. And just the general letter saying, here's 20,000 that we hope you're gonna use for broadband expansion um, yeah. means I presume you, that you could use it for something else, but is then the county gonna get themselves in trouble by saying, you know, you have here it is, which really isn't won't isn't or won't be our worry. But I think we ought to do ourselves in the county a favor by saying, when this money comes or when we get this money, we'll utilize it for purposes that are identified within mm -hmm. recovery Mike, program. Oh well, yeah, you? no, I was just asking. I haven't seen the letter. I was just wondering, did uh, this, the county the county didn't say anything to the extent of you can use this money for whatever, as long as it's within the confines yeah. of recommendations from the federal government. Um, Nothing like that? No, it, okay. it, the most, and I, I apologize for not bringing them, but I know we don't really like handouts and I intended to put it in your next packet. Um, it literally says, and we hope that you'll utilize this. Well, it this. seems the money is intended 
Yes. Robot. And I know in reading a lot of it that that is a strong part of the reason why this money is coming down. So, yeah. So, and it, well, it yeah. works and in our favor to use it what it was intended for in the first place. Absolutely. And it's uh, at this point, not that I don't trust what the Waterloo County Commissioners say, but it's seed money or it's a promissory note at this point and then until you've got money in hand don't go spending it <laughs> I guess would be my advice and the other um, thing is um, we or we the board had written a letter to Waldo County yeah. saying we'd like to help and participate in any discussions you'd have mm -hmm. and the county commissioners are going to have a meeting tomorrow at 10 to have discussions about how they intend to have discussions about how they go about formulating how they're going to spend the rest of the money. Oh my. Well, uh, a preliminary yeah. meeting or discussion, I guess. How, how much is left? Uh, they said they got a 9% is going to the towns for in their $20,000 checks, right? They got And then they've got a couple big projects. They got a little 7.7 7. 7 million dollars, right. but it's coming in two inc increments. My understanding, I, I'm not privy to the county's yeah. finances, but my understanding is it was coming in two separate installments, one this year, which they should have received, and one next year. They certainly have some um, ideas about how they in, are looking to spend the funds. Um, I'm certain that they'll have to, you know, justify that what they'd like to spend the money on is within the eligible expenses. Um, and yeah, I mean, they talk about Waldo County Garden Project at 1.6 million and another for boilers where they, you know, yeah. and I don't, you know, the final guidance on any monies that we'll receive hasn't been issued as yet. So, you know, I think the slow, steady, you know, it consistently talks about broadband, mm -hmm. consistently talks about water and sewer infrastructure, it consistently talks about a couple other things. And then the other, you know, there's still a little bit nebulous for lack of a better word. And until there is specific guidance, mm -hmm. um, I, you know, I'd accept the money on behalf of the town and put it in an account and track it and everything else, but I wouldn't spend a nickel. Yeah. Because if you expend it on something that it's not allowed, when and if you have to go back and tell them how you spent the money, if you haven't followed the program, they're going to look back to you to pay them back mm -hmm. and uh, you know hmm mm -hmm. let's let's try to avoid that scenario yeah would be my best advice yeah I yeah I this letter is a little dismaying in the amount of chickens that have been counted already before they patched yeah I mean they're <laughs> I think they're all reasonable long-range plans for the county, you know, improving the communications center. Well, that obviously benefits all of us. And I'm, my instincts would tell me that they've been looking to try to figure out a way to finance that project yeah, I mean, for a period of time. Yes. And now this opportunity has presented sure. itself um, that everybody may benefit from. And I think they want to lay out, you know, don't, don't, in a nice way. Don't come to us and ask us for seven and a half million dollars. Sure. Because we are already planning on how they're spending it. Sure. Yep. Okay. Anything else on that? Karen, you look thoughtful. No, not on that. Okay. <laughs> Just something else. Something else. Completely different. Unrelated to unrelated. Okay. Yep. Unrelated. All right, uh, let's move along <clears throat> to the treasurer and payroll warrants. I move that the board approve the treasurer's and payroll warrants. Second. Moved and seconded. Any discussion? Seeing none, all those in favor? Thank you very much. And before a final motion, does the board have any other business? Questions? 
comment. Yes. Um, I know it wasn't on the agenda, but we did have a a, a uh, report in our packets on the Lakes and Ponds Committee meeting. Yep. Mm -hmm. And there was a, a comment, a recommendation from our Inland Harbor Master for Lincolnville, and I'm wondering if we should reach out to him for clarification and or maybe we should sit with him. It's a, it's a safety thing. Yeah, yeah. I, but I want to know uh, what does he mean by guidelines more proactive? I, his the other description is pretty straightforward, and if it needs to be changed, I think we need to have a conversation with him. Yep. Or does he just need our blessing? I mean, I... Yeah, yeah, it would be nice to... Yeah. Have, he, have you had any direct communication with him regarding this? I have not regarding this. The last, um, the last communication I had with Justin, he was having um, a health issue and yeah. just wanted to keep me in the loop that he wasn't... He'd do the best he could being proactive, but... Okay. Yeah, I mean, I highlighted reactive. that also. Yeah. It kind of stuck out saying, you know, yeah. it'd be nice if we can help in some way. To make, you know, he does such an amazing job that I want to make sure that we're not unintentionally encumbering his ability yeah, to do absolutely. his job. I was thinking the same thing. Yeah. Okay. Well, thank you for pointing that out, Kern. Should I request that um, <coughs> he, I mean, he comes once a year. Yep. You want me to well, I just try to get him needs, to a... I just wondered if he needs follow-up or do, does he need... Or to, just a communication from him, too. Yeah. If he, you know, if he feels yep. like an, an email could be adequate and that he doesn't necessarily need to be present so that we could have a discussion. Like if there's some action that the board needs to yep. take as a result, but I don't... I don't necessarily think that he has to come in. I know I he's busy. I don't either. So. I don't either. Maybe an email, like you said. Yeah. yeah. And then, yeah. you know, depending on where that, depending on need, yeah. what it. I just, I look at that and I'm like, oh my God, we haven't given him the tools to do his job. Yeah, I, I know. Yeah. I yeah. I immediately thought the same thing. I yeah. thought, oh man, I, do, I, did, yeah. I don't want us to be making things harder on him yeah. somehow. So, because uh, he's a great resource. Uh -huh. um, Absolutely. Excellent. Well, I will entertain a final motion. I move that we adjourn. So moved. Second. Seconded. Any discussion? Seeing nothing, all those in favor? Thank you all very much. Yeah. Neat and tidy. That was quick. So Douglas, you got to sit through. Not the, the short, not short the shortest. <laughs> but don't go. Don't go. <laughs> oh, keep going. Don't anybody go. May I borrow your I'm just most people sneak out after their their particular point of view.